The following video or problem asks us to graph the equation y equals 3x plus 2 using a t-chart. We're going to graph this on an xy chart and so to do this uh, we need to understand exactly what a graph is. Well what a graph is, it's a line but a better description is actually a collection of points. A line is just a bunch of points put right next to each other. So a collection of points and we're going to call these points all in the form x, y. We've got an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Um, and these points make the equation true. So when I draw in a line, what I've actually done is I've told you every point that you could find on this line will make the equation y equals 3x plus 2 true. So what we do to try to graph it using a t-chart is we try to find out what 3, 4, 5 of those points are. Uh, and I'm going to be a little bit uh, over... Um, over cautious and I'm going to actually find five points. And when I do these, usually I use the pro numbers 4, 2, 0, negative 2, and negative 4 uh, when I'm looking to make five. Just five general numbers. Now one thing that's true is occasionally when I use those four numbers I get uh, y values that aren't going to fit on my my chart and so I'll just ignore those and I'll go find smaller value, y values if I need to. So for instance this first one when I plug in 4 for, for x I got to find out what y is. Well y equals 3 times 4 plus 2 12, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So my per first point is 4, 14. Well, 14 isn't going to fit on my graph, so I'm going to end up ignoring that one. So now I plug 2 in. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So when x equals 3, we can just show that y equals 8. So that's a point that makes that true. Plug in 8 for y, 2 for x, it's a true statement. Now plug in 0, we love to use 0, always use 0, it's always easy. Uh, 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So plug in 0, you get 2 out. Plug in negative 2, you get y equals, well, 3 times negative 2 plus 2. 3 times negative 2 is just a negative 6, so you end up with negative 6 plus 2. Well, that's going to equal negative 4. And then the last one, we're going to plug in negative 4, and you get y equals 3 times negative 4 plus 2. Well, 3 times negative 4 is 12. Um, well, negative 12, so you end up with negative 12 plus 2, which equals negative 10. Again, that's pretty low, and so may or may not be able to fit on my graph. I'm not sure if I'll use that point. You always want at least two or three points, but it's better if you can do four or five. So let's plot the first one, like I said, not going to fit, so let's ignore that one. The second one is going to fit, so we're going to go two in the x direction and eight in the y direction. So you go two to the right and then up eight. And then you're going to go zero in the x direction and two up in the y direction. Um, so that's right on the what's called the y-axis, and then you're going to go negative 2 in the x-direction, and then down negative 4 in the y-direction. And then the last one you're going to do, well, like I said, that one's kind of off, off of it, so we need to draw a line. I've got a nice little straight line feature on my um, uh, program I'm using, so I can draw a perfectly straight line. You should use a ruler. You want to draw your line as straight as possible to show exactly where they go, but I can do that this way. And so I'll just go ahead and use that straight line and draw a line that goes through that point. So every point that makes y equals 3x plus 2 true would actually f uh, fall on this line. So you can find another point. See, I just, I just discovered another point. Negative 1 over, negative 1 down. Well, that point should make it true, so let's test it out just real quick. So y is negative 1, x is negative 1. So negative 1 equals negative 3 plus 2. So negative 1 equals negative, three, negative 1, which is true. So that, that shows that our line is correct. So that is the graph of a line.